morning everybody it's a new week I'm here in Montana you can see by the condition of my rental car truck and my breath that it's a brisk below 20 degree uh, weather standpoint here in Montana this week's gonna be awesome you know why because we're doing all welding I'm gonna go here to general distributing they're a independent distributor here in Montana I got a new welding camera that I'm gonna boot up and see how it runs so you can see what that looks like. And then from there, I'm not gonna leave you bored. From there, we're gonna to fly to Indianapolis and visit PRI. So PRI is performance racing industry. We're gonna have a booth set up there with Weld Metals Online. So if you know what's good for you, grab a coffee, sit down in a cozy chair, and stay tuned for the whole video. We made it to GD, General Distributing, and I brought some toys. Sometimes work doesn't feel like work. And today, we have a camera from InnerTest that we're testing out. Here's our little jerry rig. I got Evan from General Distributing helping me. But here we got the InnerTest camera with the lens. We got our jerry rig mount system. Here we utilize a stick rod, the cord to the computer. And here's the software that we're using. So let's just play back this video right here. Check out that flux core puddle. That's pretty cool. And that was our second time using the camera. So this software, it auto detects the arc. We're running on a Transteel 2700 and we're set up for dual shield flux core, 7525, 045, dual shield. 240 inches a minute at 25.6 volts. Well, actually 315. Mr. Archidark, Jerry Rig. I like it. Flux store, trans steel. All the general distributing outside sales employees have to weld up. Dun, dun, dun. A Weld Metals Online XO kit. What is it? Here it is. So they have to weld this up with a minimum of two welding processes. And the team that does it with the best results wins a Fronius weld gear set, including a helmet, jacket, gloves. Right now, they are practicing with all the machines from Magic Wave to Trans Steel to TPSI. And then over here, we have a Trans Steel Pulse, an ActiPocket, which is a battery powered stick TIG unit, and the Trans Steel 2200. Jay has already pre cleaned the part. How do you think you guys are going to do? Tough competition here. We're talking mid pack at okay. best. Are you going MIG and stick or MIG TIG? I'd like to see MIG TIG. I think he wants MIG stick. Okay. Yeah. All right, it's a battle. We may, we may compromise to all three. Right. Good choice. Okay. Evan has another task that they're working on right now. So what do we got? So we got double bevel. So CJP, basically ceramic backer. Uh, we've got metal core or gas shield of flux core for these guys to uh, play around with to see what that does. Run off tabs, the whole thing. And they're the same teams? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry, same, same team. teams. Same right. teams. Okay. No minimum on passes? No, just get it done, fill it up, have fun, learn something. Mm -hmm. Look at all this inventory. They got some hypertherm stuff, so you got to check them out. We have salesmen from Billings. And Butte. And Butte. America. <laughs> but America. What, what is the strategy here, guys? I got to understand that. There is no strategy. No strategy. Just give her hell. Give her hell, okay. <laughs> At least you're cleaning it, so that's a good thing. Put her in the bites, maybe. Let me pass that right now. Uh, that's four. Four passes? Yeah. Uh, weave, weave, and now we're doing stringers just to show the difference. 
All with the trans gel balls? Yes, sir. Metal core. And what's the strategy again for this team? Our strategy is to uh, tick weld the uh, pipe process around the pipe and MIG weld some of the seams and stick weld some of the seams. Oh, we're doing all three. All three, we'll see how it goes. We got which processes? I'm gonna call, I'm gonna call it out. Stick, stick, MIG. Three finishers, I repeat. Three Which one is it? I got two un unknowns. I don't know whose those are. Is it? What is this? D, C, B, and this is what? Don't know. And then two unknowns. The two unknowns are probably disqualified. Think of Evan and Ryan. Evan and Ryan, B, C, D. Is it D, is it C, is it B, or is it Evan and Ryan's? Which one? Let me know. Imagine that. What's we that? got an event going on and Sea Beach is in the house. <laughs> with your hair bro dude i've been wearing a hat all day damn man you need a little trim you need a trim job growing it out mullet time mm. we have to get these machines in the pit not pit you pri what's and that? the one thing i hate about one pound spools is rolling them back all right what's up you just want to do that screw together we win Out of breath. You're out of breath. Hey, I don't need any slacking. No slacking. Rub it clean. See this manhole? I'm telling you. the lotion on the skin or else it gets the hose. <laughs> Step on up, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Where everybody gets a t-shirt. Everybody gets a t-shirt. Here is the view from the art tank. Justin spent a shit ton of time working on this thing. How many hours? I lost count. Probably at least well, it was like, like two months straight. Yeah, two basically months. every single day. Yeah. This design's awesome. I'm gonna show all of you what's in the art tank and what it's all about. But the main thing up here is don't fall. Don't in fall the in the hole. <laughs> and he's already told me like three times, but yeah. I can see myself falling like in that thing. Getting all excited in the moment or whatever the yeah. case is. He's like, yeah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Landing on the... That would be horrible. It would. Oh. But Justin's going to be throwing t-shirts out. We got some Fronius t-shirts. Giving away some machines. machines. Every day we got two machines we're giving away. Maybe more. Flame Tech's got some goodies. Flame Tech's CK. got goodies. We've got goodies. Jeez, uh, like everybody's actually pitching in on this one now, so it's... Uh, it's good. I'm I'm super excited. Like I've always wanted to do this, and like now it's 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 possible. We get to do it. It's awesome. Sweet. And we got our friends over here, Pit Wellview. It's a clean setup. Look at all those Fronius hoods, gloves, helmets, machines. You can buy them. Got Corey sitting there on his phone. You know where we're at? We're at the THG Group here in Indianapolis. It's, it's THG, the group is the G. Oh yeah, THG so it's Automation. Like, it's like well, ATM machine. Well, it screws me yeah. up because it's the Hendy Group. Yeah. THG. So then I want to say THG Group, but it's really <laughs> THG Automation is what it is. But we have the whole crew. I woke all these people up at 5.30 a.m. to come here. Who sets an appointment at seven o'clock in the morning? This guy. What, 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 that is true. just said no. We could have also 
Yeah, you can tell us now. no. So okay. the Hendy group, here we got the owner, Mr. Matt Hendy himself, with a large cup of black coffee. Java. Okay. He set the appointment for 7 a.m. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> the goal here today is to show you how easy it is to set up your own collaborative robot in your shop. So, we are going to pick one of you three lovely ladies and you're gonna show us how easy it's gonna be. You got a rock, paper, scissors. Is it Ann? Thanks, thanks. You liked it, me. Rock, paper, scissors? And we got you out of your box. Oh. Ooh, it's Ann. So Lane is giving me crap right now because she thinks I'm a womanizer. <laughs> but that is not true. You know why? Because me, Corey, and Brett have used this system already, so it's only fair. They only let the men play. <laughs> that you guys okay. do it. Put the robot right in the dwell joint. There you go. And then the first point is your VF point, so it shows this visual right here. Mm -hmm. So create wave point. Okay. And then go to like around here somewhere to go to the, the second point of your circle. So uh, you can do create first, yes, you can do it that way. Uh, you want the second point, so you want that right side create. There you go. So how many points do you need for a circle? Two? Yeah. And just, yeah, and just move it over to where it kind of looks like the end of the circle. There you go. And then press OK. So two points for a circle between your Yeah, it's got to create an arc. So it takes three points for an arc, but you okay. already have where it was already. So you just need yeah. two more points. Okay. And then to do another circle, two more points. So you already have the end point of the first circle. So that's your first point of the three, then okay. one, two. Okay. Then that's your first point of the next circle mm -hmm. or whatever else you want to do. So in this case, we'll just do a weld end and just kind of run the run the robot over here for that weld end uh, node. Yep. There you go. And that one's a lot simpler, of course, since it's just one point. Create waypoint. Yep. And then you can move the robot to some place towards towards, towards the, the end, end there. Yeah, it doesn't have to be all the way, but that's what, yeah, that works. And you just create a program. So now, of course, the travel speed and the weld mm -hmm. job needs to be set up. But um, so what we'll do is we'll make sure we're in simulation mode and uh, press that play button, and then the top option. just shows. It looks a little, it looks a little and high. have you ever programmed a robot before? No. And look at that. That easy. Sweet. Start a little bit like that, then replay it. So this is finding the joint, so if you put your part in the jig and it moved a little bit, essentially the robot and the machine are finding the joint. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it just refines it a little bit. That's a lot of stick out, so the cast of the wire is going to throw it off, but um, yeah, so I moved the part and send the joint again. Is there a max distance? So let's say... This part's shifted three inches this way? It depends on how, I, how much uh, window I give it. So there's a window that we create right there, the wire sense range. So if I make that bigger, it'll scan a larger okay. zone. I really didn't need the 10 millimeters there. I could have done five, but yeah. This is THG Automation in Indianapolis. How many of you have a $30,000 cutting table or CNC table? This system right here, 100 grand isn't much if you compare it to a cutting table. So if you're doing any type of small parts or if you're looking to increase efficiency, you know who to get a hold of. Who is it? THG Automation. Hey, Pit Weld you. Pit Weld you. Give me a, oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's 
not good enough. Yes, sir. Yeah. Four. The pulse is so fast. It's the end of today. Wait, yeah. It's the end. It's, it's the end of. It's the end of day one of PRI. We have Brett in the house. Corey, Sea Beach 34. You've seen him before. We have ladies in the back. Woo. So we are walking out of here. There's a guy on YouTube called Warp Perception. He just launched a video where he has rocket boosters, three of them to be exact, on the back of a Tesla. So he's going to drive by us. So we got to call him and tell him what street we're on. But all of you get to see this rocket blaster in action. There's the man. What's up, dude? I'll go up a little bit more and start it behind the bus. Okay. <laughs> no. You don't think the wells would hold? No. That's how I did the fuel cell. Oh, you have more nice. than enough. Actually, how long does this take to go through, though? Uh, you Give know, a, a full running, probably eight minutes. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's it? about 16 gallons. That goes quick. Mm -hmm. Damn. So it's, it's good enough. I mean, it's solid. It's in there. I have it strapped on the bottom. Yeah. I mean, it's almost like it was made to burn gas. So, but there's no front. How do you store your stuff? Like toiletries. There's no front anymore. <laughs> <laughs> there's no grocery right delivery. Huh? Right here. Oh, yeah, that's fair. Put some stuff there. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to PRI. We're here at the Weld Metals Online booth. We're doing live demonstrations on a few different welding processes. So if you're in the market for an ACDC TIG welder or a multi-process MIG welder, you need to be in this booth. Weld Metals Online, booth number 5635. We also have our friends at Pit Weld U who offer welding courses based out of Charlotte, North Carolina. So step on in their booth, 5634, and learn more about their trainings and all their courses they offer. If you're gonna TIG weld stainless to steel, what grade of wire do you use? Look at that, look at that, we gotta get them something. Do we have anything to give them? We got a t-shirt, so we gotta pick out a t-shirt. What size, what size? What size are Large or medium. Large or medium, do we got a large or medium? Right there, right there. That's not one of my special ones. Good job. We got the video rolling, we're hanging out on top of the arc tank. Me and Justin, check it out. He's got the tickets. We're gonna draw it for the Trans Steel 2200. We've got a whole big crowd behind us. Well, 
What up? It's day three. Hey, Chris. Good morning. I'm here with Mike Dixon from Pitt U. Yes, sir. Straight out of Mooresville, Rice City, gotta, USA. Dude, I got to tell you, this guy knows everything and anything about fabrication and welding. Like, he was taking out, you were taking apart uh, stingers for electro cables. Oh, yeah. First time I met you. I was like, where's that Bronius guy? I got to show him this piece yeah. of junk for a stinger. So we got all that big stuff, man. You know, I'm all about the equipment, making sure the customer gets the best product they can get for their money. Oh, yeah. How long have you been teaching anyways? About 15 years now. 15 years. Yeah. Heck yeah. This guy's the man. Thanks, full, of, Chris. full of knowledge. You got to check out Pit U. You know why? You got this guy, you got the knowledge behind them, and they do workshops. Absolutely, weekend warrior workshops come in. Two day workshops, we also offer one week workshops. The two day come in on Saturday morning, we give you a little safety, a little theory. We get you in the booth by Sunday afternoon, you're welding great. You're gonna have the basic understanding, the basic skill set to build, you know, standard minor projects, get started. Hopefully you'll come back, do our 16 week classes, and uh, you know, get certified. We are an ATF, an accredited testing facility through the American Welding Society. We offer welder testing. We also offer um, independent third party inspection services. And they're in Charlotte, North Carolina area. Absolutely. So who does want to visit Charlotte? Yeah, we're, That's the way I see you it. know, in, in Mooresville, our location, we have the North Carolina uh, Hall of Fame for racing, but 20 miles away in Charlotte, we have the NASCAR Hall of Fame. Mm -hmm. So if you want to come do a workshop, come in on Friday, do the NASCAR Hall of Fame. Saturday morning, come in, get your welding on, and you'll have a great weekend. And for all of you that have kids, their workshop, as long as they're 12 years old, yes. you can bring your kids in, and then you can do fabrication and welding Absolutely. right at Absolutely. As long as the parent signs up, takes the class with them, we, we have two people in, in the booth uh, at the workshop. So it's a great thing for, uh, you know, bonding thing with your kids for the weekend. You know, we have a lot of moms come with their sons and dads with their daughters. Uh, yeah, I always love teaching the family aspect of it. It's like doing hunter safety with your kids, but fabrication yes. style. Absolutely. Yeah, right. that was that was a great class for me and my son. You know, I'm I'm 40 years old at the time when we go do the hunter safety. So you know, it was refreshing. I'm thinking, yeah, I needed to remember that again. You know, I had to introduce you to this guy. I appreciate. We're gonna it, man. sit here and rock out day Absolutely. three, having a At great PRI. time. Pri. Who's this guy? We got Fokker Fab in the house. BFD. Who's up top? Hello. What's up? What up? Welcome to PRI. Woo! It's rocking Corey Beaches Hood, CB34. Look at that. Have you, how many times have you done this? Your first time? First time. <laughs> it's the Fronius. Yeah. Don't let this guy fool you. I know where he's from. He teaches. Don't you teach? Do you teach or you subbed at uh, Hillwell do, do you? I do both. I okay. teach the workshops and I substitute for the MIG and TIG class. So, what's your background? I build race car chassis for a living for CC Raceworks out of North Carolina. Uh -huh. I've been welding for 21 years now. 21 years. The TIG guru or a MIG guru as well? No, TIG only. TIG only. No. Nope. All right, so if, if you want to learn from this guy, you know where you got to go? Sir. Sure. I'm going to show you. Over here. Pit Weld View, Charlotte, North Carolina. Or close to. Go on a vacation. So what's some of your technique there, angle-wise? Uh, 90 degrees directly, tungsten 90 degrees directly to the filler. Okay. Allow the puddle to create, mm -hmm. allowing the clean action to happen, and then start running your dabs okay. slowly down. So you want to pull out of the arc, or which, which, what's the primary focus of the filler metal? Because I know a lot of times, even myself, I get a little antsy, and then my rod wants to burn away before it even goes into the... So if, well you add, cool. if you add the rod too fast, the heat from the arc will cause the rod to melt too soon, causing you either to shove the rod into the tungsten or the rod falling off or the ball falling off on the table. So that's a sign of low amperage or not enough heat? That's a sign of too much heat and not feeding fast enough. Ah, got and it. Allowing your, tongue, and allowing your filler to get into the heat zone before you're ready to start your weld. Got it. Thanks for the tip.
this guy, Trent, 2700. It's funny, it's funny seeing you here. Yeah, I know. What's going on? Rod here. <laughs> Good deal. Have a safe flight. Yeah.